what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel today is crew maintenance day just not too long ago got off work your boy Amari scoop scooped your boy up I guess y'all wondering what happened to Big Ram. I wasn't here for the wasn't here yesterday, but my brother did me a favor, dropped it off at the shop. I just got word today that it's ready. Got a surprise coming for y'all for that. Uh, right now we just waiting for the crew to come through. Um, gonna install something on the Malibu real quick. Uh, also probably do a few oil changes and probably adjust some coilovers or whatever the case may be. Make sure the crew is straight and go from there so y'all stay tuned right now we just waiting for everybody to pull up and we'll there go your boy shaquan pulling up with the 5.0 coming in here sounding all sexy <laughs> already already ain't even put it on yet done straight it. so yeah today we throwing the new fender on there because everybody know we tired of the bacon script <laughs> It's gonna look so good. Now everything's gonna be perfect. Man pulled up, almost lost the gear driving an automatic. <laughs> yeah. So if y'all ever had to replace a fender on a Malibu, you got a bolt behind here, and then you got what, two bolts that's normally sit behind there. You got this bolt that's down here or one boat one of the two you got a boat there you got a torx bit here and then you got one boat here yeah if i get it okay got the one boat in the door you got one more that's kind of down and behind but i think that right there just should slide out if i'm not mistaken yeah, this that should just popped out. I don't know how well you can see it. I'm trying to turn the camera, y'all gotta turn your head. You got that there that just slide out. And then you have two that actually sit right here on the inside. So most I believe they all 10 millimeters. I don't know what the torch bit is, but it could be a T25 or something. But other than that, we out here. Yeah. Okay. So my friend, my friend, my friend. So we got the fender off, right? Nah, come bring the fender real quick. On the inside, this piece right here, right? Okay, so that piece sits here on this boat. I did not see the tin. I couldn't feel the tin. So I give Amari his props for finding a freaking tin. Look at him, he just soaking it up. Look at him. But when y'all reach inside through the uh, through the tire you got this piece that's sitting on top and then this right here is a 10 millimeter only thing y'all do is loosen up a lot of these bolts and it'll lift right up but those are the new fender slide that on and go for now look at them look 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 freaking malibu and guys <laughs> telling you look, look look at this look look Cum, driving cum stains yes, and stuff. That's good. <laughs> they ain't nothing but some cum car. Look at that. That's that's where y'all coming and going to. <laughs> Crowd chaser. I don't know. Clout chaser. <laughs> ain't no neck breaker. Who dug your boys? Why did he park? I don't think he know what he's doing. <laughs> We're right here. Yay! Back it out. Got the monster three in the caliber. Steve and Nick coming through this bit. There go the monster and then there go the, the slow guy. <laughs> the monster, the slow guy. Wow. The slow guy. He like said it. <laughs> <laughs> she. Low, bro. Got the crew rolling up in this bit. Look at, look at that. Look at that. Right. Look, look at that. Look at that. Somebody look at this. Look at this. The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. So we about to drop this thing is what we about to do. When I say drop it, we taking it, just gonna take the whole thing apart. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. 
All right, so we finally got to the point of no more bacon strip. Listen. Nah, listen. what'd you say he got, Shakur and grits? Bacon and grits. Bacon and grits, he was bacon and grits. <laughs> at, least, at least some grits flow smooth like butter. <laughs> Make it a fish and jump on the old fender. Just run and dive on the car. Yeah, jump on the <laughs> what? What is that? Oh, no. oh no, you ain't got to pop the hood. I know where that goes. That goes on the front inside of the fender. Uh, on that one boat where you found a 10 millimeter, that's just <laughs> slide right over. Well, I'm looking for a boat now. <laughs> oh boy, Amari done lost stuff and put stuff where it ain't going. Mm. But in that, it looks much better, bro. Now, now he's now it's actually a clean Malibu again. Before it was just a Malibu. <laughs> now it's a clean Malibu. Next, we got that right there. About to slam the crap out of it. All right, so we are finally on the way to go pick up the Ram. Had to put a pause on Steve's car. He having clearance issues, so gotta find longer wheel studs. But right now we on the way to go pick up the Ram. We got about a 30 minute drive and we'll see y'all once we pull up. All right, we're about to pull up. Okay, okay, it's Let's sitting stop. over there. Yo, yo, look at bad boy sitting there. That looks good. That looks good. Four wheel parts over here, in Charlotte. They got your boy lifted proper. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Oh man. About to hop out and get a close Man, up. man, man. Y'all see this? So it was already nine in three, what, three inches up from the ground after doing all the, um, after just putting the tires on. This is a six inch lift. Yeah, you're officially staying in front of everything. Bruh. She. Look at that gap, though. Look at that right there. Oh my lord. Hey. I can stick my head in here. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's go pay for this thing and rock out. I do a job of bitterly for y'all. Picked up the truck, had to get gas. As you can see, it's sitting above the boo now. So. Oh, you showed him that. Oh. Oh, I believe I did show him after, but I'm gonna show him one more time. Oh yeah, I think I did. No more bacon strip. It actually looks pretty freaking good. Look at that. Now it's sitting proper. Look at this bad mother right here. Oh. What y'all think the next mod for this should be? Let me know. I'm just gonna look at this right here. Alright, y'all. So yeah, man. We doing, well actually we doing about 75, the speed limit, the uh, miles per hour was reading by probably about five miles per hour off. It's, it feels good. I'm not gonna lie. It feels freaking awesome. I love my cockpit view. Look at this interior. It feels awesome, yo. Like, shout outs to Four Wheel Off Road in Charlotte. Man, they really did an awesome job. Axel, they, blah, blah, blah. I'm so tongue tied, that's how much I love it. They did an awesome job getting this thing lifted, getting it aligned. The alignment is literally just, I mean, perfect. You couldn't, I mean, you, you couldn't ask for much better knowledge, especially for my first lifted truck. This thing rides freaking awesome. It rides smooth. It is great. Okay. I just still would have slightly turned because y'all, if anybody around the Charlotte area know on 85, Depends on what side of the highway you on. It hard leans to the left versus being leveled out. Cause when they did it, I don't know how they made these roadways. But yeah, man, we driving it. It's smooth. It feels great. The suspension is awesome. Uh, we pulled off on the side of the road real the uh, earlier and did a little <laughs> a little off road test. It like it cuts up good, man. Like I don't know. I'm excited about it. So right now we're heading back to finish up what we can on Steve's car and go from there. But other than that, man, she's beautiful. Shout outs once again to Fourth Wheel Off Road for getting your boy right. Uh, 
this entire kit with the alignment costs about $2,655. That's with labor and everything included. The tires itself already took it up by two and a half inches from stock. And then the lift kit was a six inch lift. So roughly looking about eight and a half to nine inches from a stock lift and it feels beautiful. It drives like a dream and hey, like I say, I'll see y'all when we get back. All right, everybody. So we ended up putting Steve's car back together. Now, right now we are on our way to get crew photos. So crew in front of me, that's one, two, three, four, five, four cars in front of me. Uh, the rest of the guys is already dead. But other than that, you know, it's been overall a good day. Um, we got some stuff situated, some stuff taken care of. We end up putting the monster back together. We'll end up probably working again on that on Sunday. Um, we got to get longer wheel studs because the clear we having clearance issues with the coilovers. Uh, so we got to do some spacers and some wheel studs. And trust me, that thing's going to look nice once we're done. Uh, they got the crew right here turning at the light. <laughs> and going to get these photo shoots done. And then we'll holler back at y'all later. Catch us on the flip side. Remember to hit that like. Take the next right on hit Bancroft that, Street. That's my GPS. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. Share this video. Follow the channel. Let's the get this normal, thing to a thousand right likes. Catalina Avenue. Let's get it to a thousand likes. Oh my gosh, you get it right of me. All right, y'all. I'm Lamont. We'll holler.